Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the 12th lecture of the series on Fiddick Red Book 2017. In today's lecture, we will look at section 10, which deals with employers taking over. So basically, our works are done and we want to hand over the works to the employer. Let's see how that is done. We'll look at a total of four clauses, clauses 10.1 through to clause 10.4. The first clause is taking over the works and sections. Feel free to pause, screenshot to read the whole thing. So what this clause basically says is that if the contractor has completed all of their works, completed the testing and commissioning, we have done the as-built documentation, we have uh, provided the necessary training, tests on completion, everything is done, then the engineer is required to issue a taking over certificate within 28 days of our notice so we have to notify the engineer that everything is done we want the works to be taken over and within 28 days the engineer will give us the toc or the taking over certificate the most important implication of this clause is that once the taking over certificate is issued this ends the time for completion this marks our project completion date it will stop the delay damages period if applicable and our defects notification period or the DNP will start. Let's take a hypothetical example. We are doing a hospital. We completed the tests on completion. We completed all the prerequisites for completion. We submitted all the documentation and the engineer issues the TOC in the required time after documents are verified and everything else is done or formalities are done. The taking over is complete and this marks our project completion date. Clause 10.2 is taking over parts. Very, very important clause. Feel free to read through the whole thing. What this clause basically says is that the employer has the right to take over partially. If a section of our works is complete, the employer can issue uh, the taking over certificate through the engineer for that specific part of the work and does not need to wait for the overall project completion. What we need to understand is that this marks the partial completion of the project as in that particular section of the project will be marked as complete and the taking over for that particular section shall be issued. As we discussed earlier, the defects notification period starts after taking over. So the DNP for that particular section of the project will start after the employer has taken over that part of the work. We as contractors are still liable and responsible for the remaining works that have not been uh, taken over by the employer. Let's take an example to understand this more clearly. For example, we are doing a mixed use development and uh, for example, this is a building complex where the ground floor is retail and the upper floors are residential. The once the ground floor works are complete, the employer may request us that, OK, fine, the ground work is com ground floor is complete and you're still working on the upper floors. But I need the ground floor now because I need to start renting it out to potential vendors. In this case, the completion for the ground floor works will be marked there and then and the taking over shall be issued for this particular section of the works. Clause 10.3 is interference with tests on completion. If you remember in the last lecture, we did touch this clause very slightly. Let's look at this clause in a little more detail. What this clause states is that if we contractors are prevented from carrying out the tests on completion due to the employer for a period of 14 days, it can be 14 days at a stretch or 14 days in parts. If a total of 14 days have occurred and we are being prevented from uh, carrying out the tests on completion, in that case, we will give a notice to the engineer and this part of the works will be deemed as taken over. Very, very important. Why? Because this puts a timeline. In this case, the employer cannot unnecessary, unnecessarily stretch the project, right? So in this case, the engineer will issue the taking over a certificate. However, we are still required to carry out the tests on completion after this interference by the employer has finished. So it does not necessarily waive our responsibilities from doing the tests, but it's just that the TOC or the taking over certificate is not impacted. We are still required to carry out these tests, preferably before the defects notification period ends. The implication, like we said, the DNP will start automatically and the responsibility will be shifted to the employer. 
For example, we are doing a university and we have these lecture halls where we have installed speakers and the acoustic system, etc, etc. And we have not carried out the uh, required testing. However, the employer moves the furniture already into this uh, space, impeding us, stopping us from carrying out these tests. What will happen is we will deem that this particular lecture hall has been taken over from us by the employer and we will request the engineer to issue the taking over certificate. Clause 10.4 is a very small clause, surfaces requiring reinstatement. What this clause means is after the taking over is done, the formal take, taking over certificate has been issued, the employer will still use some of the temporary access roads etc. However, it is still our responsibility even after the TOC is issued to reinstate or make good these uh, temporary facilities. So what this means is even after our handover is done, we still might have some responsibilities for uh, reinstating, especially this applies to uh, temporary roads that lead up to the site, etc, etc, because even after the handover, it's possible that these roads are still in use. So this TOC does not relieve us from reinstating and making sure these roads are exactly how we uh, got them. Uh, let's take an example. For example, we're doing a museum and we have handed over the works. However, the employer still needs to access uh, these roads, the temporary roads leading up to the site for cleaning purposes, for bringing some equipment, extra equipment in. It is still our responsibility, even after TOC, to reinstate these works, do the paving, do the landscaping, etc, etc. Short and sweet, that marks the end of section uh, 10. We will be back with section 11 very, very soon. Until then, take care of yourselves and happy building. <laughs>